Yeah. Yeah. So um, we, I have a couple more questions I want to ask you guys. So I want to kind of make it quick. So I'm going to just cut this one short. So, um, so obviously with quarterfinals, there's like not much, you know, hype around it kind of. So Savon, Savon is doing this thing called Taylor self versus the world. So he has Colton Mertens, you know, Jason Hopper, Dallin Pepper. They were all fighting each other to be in the top, top spot for that whole group. And the winner gets $5,000 and everyone, obviously everyone gets paid throughout the whole thing. And I believe fees, uh, Fisa Gaffey, and I don't know who the other person was. It's a uh, uh, Lindsay Lane Wilson. Lindsay uh, Lane. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So they, they did a workout against each other too, as well. And the winner got a thousand dollars. So, and this is not even part of CrossFit. This is just like a, just a media group. That's like an outside media group. So do you think CrossFit needs to do something like this? Or would you like to see more outside media um, do kind of e events like this for quarterfinals? And I'll go with Kelly first. So, Okay. Uh, I guess just thinking out loud, I feel like um, – I don't think CrossFit is the right person or entity to run something like that. As much as, as like, as cool as that sounds, I think that um, they would get too many accusations of like playing favorites on which athletes they chose and like, you know, all of the judging standards, like who's making money, who's not making money. You know, like when you put athletes on the line, I think that CrossFit needs to remain the professional entity. Um, and I think that outside media, like, I think it's super cool that they're doing that. And I think that it, um, speaks a lot to the growth of the sport. I think the more things like that happen, the healthier and the more robust, like the whole CrossFit ecosystem are going to be. Um, but I do think it's kind of the outside media, like is the right place to do that stuff. Um, just cause I think CrossFit can't can't be in the middle of like playing favorites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Hannah, what you got? Yeah, I agree. Like, I think it's so cool. Like what Savan is doing with, with Taylor self versus the world. I wish I could have been like, I wouldn't have like won, but it would have been just fun to like throw down in that setting. Um, I think it does depend on, I think like, you know, like other media outlets that like, say you actually have like have a training camp and you have so many athletes going through the workout. Um, some people don't want their score to be out there or be criticized and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, I think it just depends on the comfort of the athletes or stuff like that. But, um, yeah, like Kelly said, like, I think it needs to be like an outside entity and then like CrossFit can always just like reshare and stuff like, Hey, like this is something yeah. cool going on in the community, like go over there. And like, and it's really like you're rising all tides at that point. Yeah. And the, but the thing is, is will CrossFit actually repost this stuff? I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I like, that's like, that's on them, but yeah, like, true. Just, like it only helps them. Yeah. So Leah, what you got? What's your, what's your answer? Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with what Kelly and Hannah have already said. I think Kelly made a good point about, you know, CrossFit needs to remain the neutral third party. Um, and I think CrossFit also needs to focus on running a fair and well-run competition. And that's not something that they need to be taking time away from to do something like that um, when they already have, you know, their small team. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, they, they've already cut down on the amount of video review they're doing this year, which I is am insane. not a fan of. Insane. Yeah. Um, I, I will say so, to that, uh, all four of our videos got looked at. So, okay. Yeah. That's, that's good that's to know. Coming from me. Yeah. All of our scores like validated and looked at. So, nice. okay, good. Yeah. That makes me feel a little better. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, I think they have they have enough going on during this time period, especially now that quarterfinals and semifinals are so close together. Um, like they need to be focusing on the competition, not necessarily the fun media side of it. <laughs> um, but I do think it's really cool that these third parties are are doing this um, or outside media, whatever, whatever we're calling it. 
Um, and I think it's a cool opportunity. You know, Hannah said some people might not want their scores known. And so it's something where it's like, hey, do you want to participate and have the opportunity to win some money? Or do you want to, you know, keep your scores close hold and be more concerned with like your place on the leaderboard, making sure that you're qualifying, all that kind of stuff, which like I, I totally understand both sides of it. Um, but it's a cool opportunity to have for the athletes who are interested in participating in that. Yeah. And, and also, I liked, sorry, go ahead, go ahead, Kelly, go ahead. Oh, I liked Hannah's thought of like with the training camps, you know, like that would be a super cool thing for training camps to do, you know, it would generate visibility for the training camp that would get like participation with their, you know, all of their members and um, like, yeah, some of those things would be really fun. It would get more excitement around quarterfinals and people doing it to have like a, um, almost like a, you know, like an affiliate open style thing for like within the training camps that's, you know, you put some media behind, that would be really fun. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, yeah. And it's like, like you said, like, I mean, like Aaliyah says, like you, if you are like concerned and don't want your score out there, just like it's participate like you don't right. like say yeah. like hey you're not in this like okay you could just say like hey these two heats are going to be the ones that are live stream who wants to hop on and yeah. whoever hops on hops on maybe yeah. it's only two people who knows then you only have to run one and then the media <laughs> don't work so hard. Um, but i think i mean i think it's fun um i've always been like a proponent of i'll give uh, i was like i'll give my score out because it's like i know like uh there's probably someone fitter than me but then at some point it's like, okay, you have to still have the fitness to get the score that I got. So um, that's why I've been like pretty open. And also if there's like, I can win some money, like that'd be like kind of cool if yeah. that was a chance. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, yeah, I just think it's, it's just like, again, like it's great things to hype up quarterfinals. It is kind of like this like hidden thing of, oh, like there's just like this weekend people competed um what happened so i think it'd be there could be more that like happens during it yeah i i think i think they should hype it up a little bit more like actually like do like like have you know i know training think tank has their own youtube channel they could do something like that with their team or like misfit athletics you know yeah. they could do stuff like that or like any hwpo if they wanted to do that or or any of like just just yeah. to get like more content out there. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. Get more content out there for, you know, their program as well as like just doing CrossFit and saying, Hey, look what these people are doing They're You know, it's just the quarterfinals for the, to get into the CrossFit, like semifinals, blah, blah, blah. Then get to the games, you know, this, you know, just, it, it almost feels like before what Savon was doing was like, it was like a weekend of just like no news. Like you don't see really anything. You don't hear much. And then all of a sudden the leaderboard pops up. You're like, bang. Like for right. example, like the, the team, the team competition, like, like it was like, Oh wait, it was, it was a couple days ago. And then all of a sudden the leaderboard pops up and you're like, Oh, Hey, you know, I mean, there's, there, need, there needs to be some media going towards that too, as well. Yeah. So, I mean, even the masters in age, age, age and adaptive athletes, just like, just something going out there and saying, Hey, you know, these guys are doing quarterfinals. So, you know, check out with like, you know, you know, athlete X is doing, you know, check out what, you know, this other person's doing just to get it out there because they want to hit, they want to get like what 30, 30 million members for CrossFit that you know, they have like a blank weekend of no news, no video, nothing. So that's not going to help their cause or even grow, growing affiliates is not going to help their cause of having a weekend that's almost dead. Moving to that, I do think it would be really cool if CrossFit or some other media entity was going into affiliates and uh, doing some coverage on like the average, you know, top 25%, not the athletes that are trying to make semifinals, but the, the, athletes that are you know their goal was to make quarterfinals and now they're doing quarterfinals that would be really cool and that would be a cool way to grow the brand of crossfit and the methodology like they're trying to do yeah Hell yeah, Love yeah that. The, the the gym the gym that i went to for to do the open um there was only two people that made it to quarterfinals mm -hmm. and i and one of them was me and i'm not even a member and there was just one member from that from that crossfit gym that made it to quarterfinals 
And so I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's, you're going to have a little few people, but like, at least they should sell People should celebrate, you know, those people that made it to quarterfinals saying, Hey, congratulations. You made it to quarterfinals. Let's cheer you on to see where you, we, where you can get. And then like yeah. post, post it on social media. I, I know the, the James um, Instagram page, they, they posted, I, I know it's mainly for like clients coming in, but it's nice to have like, you know, to show an athlete there that like he's the only person that made it to quarterfinals. No, I think, I think, yeah, no, I was like, I think that'd be super cool. Um, Tom, I know that you wanted to bring up like, oh, like you can go beat Dave Castro. Like Dave yeah. Castro like actually cared about the open so he could make quarterfinals. Like, yeah, like film Dave going to the affiliate down the road and going, going to get some of these people. <laughs> like, that's fun. <laughs> so much fun. Like, I mean, yeah. be super yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah, like, like, okay, like, okay, yeah, you're going to see that like, you know, these people beat Dave on the leaderboard and could win some go rock shoes, but like, let's like put it on the line and actually live stream it. That, would, that will, would be hilarious. I people, would love that. Love yeah. that. People used to watch I, versus Boz back in the day. I was just yeah. going to say, yeah. I will always ask for Rovi Boz to come back. That was <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> I, I remember one one opened. It was Roe v. Ba, Rose, um, th them two together, and they had like other people from that gym, or like I, th I think they were, they were at the Rogue Warehouse or something like that. And it was like the first time they were doing walking lunges. And so this one dude, like some random some rando that they just picked out of like the the group, actually beat both of them. And by like a significant amount. And it's just like, it was awesome seeing that. Cause like, obviously you see just them two working out, but then they just add in somebody else and then they, like he, the, both of them got smoked. So it's always like fun to see, you know, that how they work out. Cause obviously watching elite athletes like yourself do it. It's like, you know, it's great. Cause they see your time. You're like, Holy shit. But then like seeing an average person do it it's even better because then like okay this person broke it up here or this person broke it up there so i don't know let the community heat in the open so glad they brought that back yeah i think it's so cool yeah definitely definitely <laughs>